Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson, and it's so easy today to make fun, engaging videos using nothing more than an iPhone or an iPad, really any iOS device that you have, you can use paired with a few apps like I iMovie. And again, of course, we're talking iMovie app for the iPhone or the iPad and also video Rama. Now, yesterday, it was my friend Felicia's birthday. I made a fun, engaging video for her. Uh, well, let me show you that video right now. Okay, kind of quirky, kind of like Men in Black. Uh, it took me like, I don't know, 30 minutes to kick it out. How did I do it? Well, the first thing I did was I, I ran outside and I filmed. I just kind of want to show you the original footage. So, so notice uh, the video, the final video is 13 seconds. The footage is 31 seconds. And notice it's a little bit slower because a lot of what I did with the video I ultimately published was I sped up some of the fit footage, I slowed down other bits of the footage, I added in a filter, noir filter, and then from there what I did was I went ahead and I added in um, a few sound effects, uh, a soundtrack, and um, an effect. It was like a pixie dust effect. So that's what I filmed and once that was filmed, basically, what did I do? Well, the first thing I did was I took the film and I edited it in Videorama. And thinking back now, uh, in the future, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with iMovie. So I'm going to show you how I would create that. So first thing we're going to do is select uh, New Movie. And again, if, if you've never used iMovie for your iPhone or iPod, I've got a full-featured, step-by-step, highly-rated video here on YouTube. Check that out now. This will be the advanced uh, how to add some cool effects video. So check that out, the iMovie app tutorial. I'll link to it in the YouTube card. Let's keep on uh, carrying on with this tutorial. So how did I create it? First, click the plus button. You'll have a chance to create either a trailer or a movie. I'll select movie. Uh, from here, I'm going to stick with simple. So we have a few bit basic designs. And I like simple because I'm going to add everything myself. So the next thing we need to do is we need to drop in the footage. So I'm going to look for recently added. And here's that recently added footage. I'm going to drop it in the playhead. Uh, here it is. Now, the one first thing I, I don't want is I don't want any audio uh, associated with my original recording. I want music, sound effects. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to go to the audio tab down below, or to volume rather. Actually, I don't see it there. Let's go back. There it is. I didn't see it. Detach audio. Do you see that right above volume? Uh, detach audio. I'll press that. Now it's selected. Notice the trash can in the right hand corner. I'll click that and now we don't have any audio at all. Okay, so the audio is gone. And now we basically have this footage of me. And the first thing I want to do is I kind of want to get, um, I, I kind of want to fi find where I, nah, da -da, I bend down. Okay, here we go. So I want it, I want footage to start from right there. Okay, perfect. I select the clip, I split, I delete the clip to the left. Now if we start, you're going to see, pa. I pop up, poof. Look to the right, look in. Take off glasses one, take off glasses two, lean, happy birthday, poof, and end it. Okay, so now I want to end right there. I'm just going to, nope, let's go back. So if, if I want to end right here, I can do a couple things. I really want to... Blink, blink, okay, 
I want the frame to end, and I don't want to really be moving at all at the end. So how do I do that? Well, I split, and now that's what I want to delete, and now watch what we get. You'll see it. I kind of like lean in, poof, and I stare straight in, and it ends. Okay, so now we have our clip, and we've uh, shortened things a bit, and we're down to 13 seconds. Now what we need to do is we need to speed up and slow down. So I'm going to play the clip, pop. Okay, again, I need to split here, and here's what we're going to do. This part, we're going to kind of speed up. This first part here that's highlighted, we're going to speed that up. How do we do that? Well, we go to speed in the lower navigation. Let's increase this to about two times, and now watch it. And notice here, at this point, we're, we're at normal speed. So this is sped up. It's kind of quirky looking. That's good. I'm going to expand the timeline so I have more control over each frame. Okay, that's about the end of the movement of me taking off my glasses. So I'm going to split that again. I'm going to go to Actions. I'm going to go to split and great. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to slow this down so it kind of looks like, whoa, cool. So how do we slow down? Easy. We go to speed and instead of speeding up, we're going to slow down to about a third. And let's see what that looks like now. So you can see we're coming along great. Boom. A little too slow, easy. Now we're at two thirds. Let's see what that looks like. And that looks about normal. There we go, half. That's gonna be perfect. And that's what I had yesterday. So we come in, we've got nice slow motion. And now really what we need to do is we need to export this footage and then we're going to work with it in Videorama and we're going to add filters, sound effects, music, and more. So... Let's do that right now. All right, so now we can go ahead and we can access Videorama. And I also have another video tutorial that goes over some of the functionality and features of Videorama. I'll link to that in the YouTube card now. Now, for, for now, we're going to um, jump in and we're going to create a new movie. So notice at the bottom we have pick a project size and get started. I want landscape 16 by 9. I'll select that. Now I've got the new footage uh, right here that we just created in iMovie. I'll select next in the right hand corner and you can see we've got, got our great slows down Turn, poof. Uh, so the first thing we want to do actually is filters. So I'm going to select filter, and we have instant, fade, and there we go. So the noir is really cool. Uh, we're going to select done. That's good to go. So now we have that done. Now what we want to do is let's add in some music. So I'm going to select music. I'm going to come into drama. And you can see I've got all these really cool um, audio effects. Unfortunately, I can't hear them because I'm recording my screen and whatnot. But if we go to, which was, the, there's a few one. There's action is really good too. 
and uh, let's do run 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 and I'll click to add that in and you'll see it comes in and I can add the music anytime so I'll add it about there now notice uh, we've got a, a volume control on the bottom okay the slider that I'm sliding around I suggest somewhere around 15 to 25 otherwise it's gonna blow out uh, the 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 peaking it's gonna peak and it's gonna sound bad so I'm gonna select done so now we have that going on and now right here right here I've got my handout I need to add some text I'll click on the T now notice I can drag things around I can pinch in and out let's see what what we have so far I'm gonna click done and notice uh, let's see how long the text stays on there okay I don't want it to stay so long so see right here at this point I kind of want it to go away when I pull, pull my hand down up and it needs to go away right 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 there it needs to go away so I'm gonna select text again notice down below where we had the volume controls we also have a, a time okay and 1.2 that's gonna be perfect I can feel it that birthday poof okay how do I get a cool kind of effect when I when I uh, do this poof right when the hand opens up let's put in a video effect and notice we have rain cool confetti Here's the rain, snow, sparks, the snow is perfect, let's add that in, okay now we have snow, so let's see what it looks like now that we have added snow, I'm going to click done poof and actually what we want to do is let's click on it again and let's pull up the intensity and see what that looks like now pretty good move it a bit and let's do this great now we have a few other things we, we could do right where the uh, effect comes in with the snow which is about right there we could add an audio effect a sound effect so I select sound effect and notice this cinematic boom or cinematic whoosh the whoosh is real good I'm gonna add that that's just about perfect and I'm gonna overlap lap it perfectly and that's how I get the sound effect with the video effect at the same time and these are some of the things that you can do to spice up your videos using the app Video Rama. Now, hey, it's Brian G. Johnson, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we'll go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. I upload uh, videos weekly, and I share how you can not just create content, but create content that's amplified so you can inspire people to act. Dig it. I'll see you on the next video. Ryan G. Johnson!